very much for accepting our invitation to change your life. Um, You're welcome. Yes, uh, thanks. Uh, can you give us your impression about uh, this Arab uh, bloggers meeting today? Yeah. Well, it's uh, a, uh, an important meeting because it's the first we have uh, after the revolution in Tunisia and the revolution in Egypt and uh, after the fall of Gaddafi and, and everything and uh, I mean a lot of the people who are meeting here have been meeting before in Beirut in, to, in late 2009, it was in December 2009 and we were pretty much involved in tweeting the revolution and reporting the revolution actually we worked as a network during all those months and weeks of uh, pro-democracy revolt so uh, it's we, we haven't been meeting uh, in real life ever since so it's important to come together again and uh, uh, talk about the, these wonderful times that we have been through and uh, uh, think ahead of, for the future and uh, for the Arab countries who are still struggling with their governments uh, repressive governments and now, can you tell us more about uh, uh, your broken experience as mm -hmm. a rocker blogger in the movement of 20th of February yes. and how relevant it is to the Arab Revolution today? Yes, yeah, sure. Um, I have to admit I am not the most prominent blogger in Morocco, I, ha I am not the most prolific blogger in Morocco and I regret uh, really that uh, many other colleagues of mine in Morocco couldn't make it here to Tunisia. But uh, I started blogging uh, because I wanted to I guess uh, express my views freely without having to wait for the mainstream media to, to talk uh, uh, instead of me. Uh, I am part of a generation which uh, experienced uh, what we called then in Morocco the Moroccan Spring uh, in the late uh, 90s where we enjoyed a lot of freedom of expression. Uh, but then in the, in the last years, in the last 10 or 11 years, uh, the, 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 the state of freedom of expression in Morocco has been backsliding and uh, once you uh, experience freedom you want to have it back and I, I guess that my generation is part of uh, this young uh, generation which uh, wanted, uh, which was optimistic for the future and which uh, enjoyed uh, the free press at some point and then when it was denied that freedom, it took it back. It used the, the internet to, to talk about uh, its grievances, to express its political views, and uh, that's what, that has been the drive from the, the beginning. The February 20th movement was inspired by the Arab Spring, and especially what happened here in Tunisia, and uh, after the death of uh, Bouazizi. Uh, and uh, fortunately, maybe for us in Morocco, we. Um, have a uh, very strong civil society and uh, uh, those young people have been uh, you know campaigning and uh, protesting for weeks for seven months now and they are still protesting in the streets they have been in the streets uh, last Sunday for example and they are using the internet uh, extensively uh, to report and to talk about their uh, cause because the mainstream in Morocco simply doesn't talk about them at all. Thank you very much for the time to Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you.